Hello. So, I have to swatch some acrylics. With this class I'm taking, um, I have to uh, swatch some acrylics. And because it came with acrylics, I thought it was just a gouache class, but it also came with acrylics too. So I was sent these uh, Liquitex Basics acrylics, a 24 set. And one of the classes is a doing a swatch of all the acrylics and mixing some colors. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I did not intend to be buying more acrylics right now. Um, I had bought a better student set, a kind of one-upping from a craft set as I go through and use up my craft paints. And, and while I was doing that, this, then these were sent. So I've never used these before. Not sure what to think. I've heard very mixed reviews where somebody used these exclusively. Some people don't like them at all. I don't know. I've never used them before. So we'll see. And it just means I have more acrylics to use up. So I've already got my um, swatch set up with the 24 colors. I'm going to go ahead and put them on there. Um, the set comes with a white and off-white, two blacks, a Mars black and an ivory black. Um, and gold and silver as well as a range of secondary colors and browns um they're pretty evenly distributed i'm not seeing yeah, there's a range more towards primaries i guess only one orange uh two greens well this bright aqua is labeled green but i think it's more blue i guess it's more green than light blue <laughs> so you know, um, one purple, one pink, but a good set of colors. So let's all go ahead and get started. I guess I can talk about what's on the tube of it. Why haven't I done that? So it has. Um, it does have pigment information, um, opacity, this is semi-opaque, I think that means. Oh, hey, yeah, it's on the back. So, so that's like the square and like the light fastness of one. If you look on the back of the tube, that this is semi-opaque. So, and light fastness of excellent. But, and then the pigment information again on the back so it clear that's actually kind of nice so you know exactly what they're talking about instead of having to guess um these are made in france yeah. so go um these keep coming up in my feeds because i guess they recently made or i guess not that recently but fairly recently started making an acrylic gouache but it turns out it's just like more acrylic paint or at least a lot of people <laughs> who use it are just like this is just acrylic paint like it's not the same so I don't know I am just using these for right now
right here we have something I don't like that much, uh, which might be the amount of water on my brush. So let's see here. A lot came out of the tube. Hmm. So that's not fan. Um, well, so the gold is really translucent. Really doesn't want to lay down its pigment. That's sad. I don't know if you can see that. Also not surprising, maybe it's made more to mix in with other colors, but, and if we look, um, no pigment information, so it's a semi-opaque, yeah, it's really fast, but so it's probably just a mica, um, but it's still sad that it's not really opaque at all, there's not probably very little in there as far as pigment. Well, no pigment. It's probably just mica. There's no pigment information on the gold. I do have to say that this ultra blue or light light blue permanent was actually kind of nice to put down. I wonder if the bright green, bright azure green was the same way. Like these pastel colors are kind of nice. They're definitely more opaque probably because they have white in them. Yeah. Um, more pigments. White is in it. PW6, it's white, and it's a week. So it just feels nicer. Maybe that's my problem with the watercolors, is that because they're not opaque, they don't feel very nice to paint with. It's a texture thing, maybe. the colors and I don't know the ivory black is really not opaque whereas the Mars black is very opaque um, just taking a look at these they both claim to be opaque the difference is what this is PPK 11 and PPK 9 so I'm like I'm not sure if they're like not the same percentage of pigment, maybe. It's hard to say, I don't know. It's weird. A lot of these are very much not opaque, uh, but that's okay, it's acrylic layered on. Um. Oh. Hi Mary, now we gotta mix some colors.
yeah, no surprises. Got some colors, dries fairly fast. Slower than gouache, but fast enough. Oh, those, the two metallics are shiny, even if a little bit transparent when you look at them up close. But, and I did try to mix some of the gold into the, into certain things, and they have a little bit of shine, but really nothing in comparison to these, so. That's what it is. There you go. Let's do the satisfying part now. I know you're supposed to pull it more carefully than that, <laughs> so you don't rip the paper. But the paper's pretty sturdy. And this is washi tape. That's why I like washi tape. There we go. Really sharp edges. It's kind of like a muffin top. There we go. This is the. I should label this. Liquid Tex Basics. Click. There we go. Hope you enjoyed.